In this experiment, I'm going to dilute a solution. Dilution involves the addition of water to an existing solution to decrease the concentration of that solution. Now, there are three types of solutions that we can have. We can have a concentrated solution, a dilute solution, or a saturated solution. In a concentrated solution, there are a large number of moles in a small volume of solution. In a dilute solution, there is a, a small number of moles in a large volume of solution. And finally, a saturated solution is a solution in which you have the maximum number of moles dissolved in a fixed volume of solvent at a given temperature. Okay? If you increase the temperature, generally the solubility of a substance increases. Okay, now, what is dilution and what is the mass behind it? In your first flask, the number of moles equals the concentration of the solution multiplied by the volume of the solution. If you take that entire solution, add it to a larger beaker, and increase the volume with additional water, you haven't changed the number of moles. Therefore, the number of moles of solute in beaker 1 is equal to the number of moles of solute in beaker 2. In beaker 2, the number of moles equals the concentration of the second solution multiplied by the volume of the second solution. C1V1 equals C2V2. I wish to dilute this solution by a factor of 10. It's too concentrated for the experiment I'll need to do. Now, how can I do that? Well, we have the dilution equation. I have some equipment. I have my original solution. I have a 500 ml volumetric flask. And I have a pipette. A pipette is similar to a volumetric flask in that it's a quantitative piece of glassware. It has a fine line here to indicate, as it states here, exactly, exactly 25 mils. Okay, I'll show you how to use that in a moment. Now, let's assume I want to make 500 mils of final solution. The initial concentration is 0.1 moles per litre. We don't know what initial volume we need to use. I do, however, know that I want to dilute this by a factor of 10. So the final concentration that I'm looking for is 0.01. Lastly, the final volume is 0.5 litres. Okay, rearrange that. Do the calculation. 0.05, what are the units? Litres. Litres, good. Firstly, Make sure you've got your safety glasses on, your gloves if you need them, I won't wear them today. I need to transfer this solution into a storage vessel. You should never pipette directly out of your volumetric flask. Label that flask with the same details that you have on your volumetric flask. The volumetric flask that you're going to transfer the solution into should be rinsed with distilled water beforehand. If you use the existing solution, you're going to increase the number of moles. And what's important is the concentration and the number of moles. We don't want to affect that, so we can rinse that with distilled water. To use our pipette, I'm right-handed, I hold it in my right hand. I have here what's called a pipette bulb. I place that on top of the pipette, I don't jam it in, and I just squeeze the button. Now allow, I allow the solution to go up above the line so that I can then manually allow the liquid to come out. The best way of using a pipette, use your index finger, not your thumb, you have better control of your index finger. We now need this meniscus to drop down to that line there. The way that I do that is just relax my finger and rotate the pipette and the liquid gradually drops. When it reaches the meniscus, stop. Just wipe the pipette on the edge of the glass. Bring it over to your volumetric flask. Now in the transfer of liquid, you need to be very careful. You need to make sure the tip of this glass is in contact with the glass of the volumetric flask. You allow the solution to run. Don't blow it out. Don't force it out. When it stops running, count to three, one, 
two, three, take that out, there's a small volume of liquid in here. Okay, it's actually calibrated for that volume of liquid. So we have transferred exactly 25 mils of our solution into this vessel. Now we needed 50 mils. Do we need to repeat the process? We now need to add more water. I have here just some tap water. I use my funnel. Good shake. And now fill it with your eyedropper or your wash bottle. Get down low and check the meniscus. Done. Give it a final shake. We've successfully diluted our solution.